people, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because this is a video that I thought that I would never record in a million years, but here we are. I finally stopped biting my nails and you can too. I know it seems impossible because trust me, I've been there. I've looked up every type of product that you can use, every type of habit hack, and trust me, it takes time, but if you really want to accomplish not biting your nails, you can do it. These are a few things that I have used tips, uh, products that I've used, and I really hope that it helps you. And if it does, please like and subscribe to this channel. And I just hope that this video brings you as much value as it has brought me. So let's get started and I hope that this helps you. Before we get started, I know that some of you are going to be like, I've tried everything, I've done this, I've done this, but just stick with me through this video, listen to what I have to say, and then try it out for a month, and if it doesn't work for you, then I'd be extremely surprised, because trust me, if you put in the effort, you will get the results, you just cannot give up, okay? So step one is identify your triggers. You need to figure out what is triggering you in the first place. If you have no idea what is triggering you to bite your nails, you are never going to stop biting your nails. A trigger can be that you're hungry, you're bored, you're anxious, you have a lot of anxiety, you're nervous, you're going on a first date, whatever the case is, there's a trigger that is making you put your hands in your mouth. So step one is figure out your triggers. Tip number two is find a positive replacement. What do I mean by this? You need to replace your bad habit of biting your nails with something else. So once you figured out your trigger, let's say it's anxiety. Every time I have anxiety, I bite my nails, which is what used to happen to me. Then I would bite them and bite them and bite them and I just, I, I couldn't stop. So now that I figured out that my anxiety is my trigger, the next step is replacing it with a better habit, which could be drinking water, chewing gum, having a mint, going for a walk, listening to music, trying to keep yourself into a new healthier path and removing your hands from your mouth, okay? So tip number three is one of my favorite tips to give people because it helped me and you have to have somebody that is willing to really stick through and follow up with you, but that is ask for help. I know you're gonna be like, what? Ask for help? Yes, it is that easy. You can ask family, friends, a loved one, even your coworkers to help you out. All you have to say is, listen, every time you see me biting my nails, call me out. Or even better, I did this and it actually helped. You can have a bet with somebody. So you can tell them, listen, for every single nail that I bite, I owe you $5. Hello, 50 bucks every time you bite your nails? Hell no. I was not gonna be paying up 50 bucks every time I bit my nails. So that kind of was an incentive to stop biting my nails. And it really, really works. Maybe you have money and you're like, oh, um, I'm gonna bet $10 per nail, okay. Or maybe you have less and you're like, okay, uh, I'm not making any money, I'm gonna charge you a dollar per nail. Whatever works for you, whatever money you're not willing to lose, ask people to help you. And trust me, if people are just gonna make money off of you biting your nails, they're gonna be like, mm-hmm, let me check. Did you bite that pinky nail today? Did you bite that pinky? Give me my dollar, give me my five bucks. Trust me, it works. Tip number four is not my favorite tip on the planet because trust me, your tongue is gonna hate you, but that is make your nails taste bad. You can put something spicy on them, you can put something sour, you can put these nail polishes that taste horrendous, and if you can bite through those bad boys, then you are a trooper, you are a stronger nail biter than I was. Because let me tell you, there was nothing worse than having those like nail polishes that you put on your hands, and you go like this, or like you lick your finger at dinner because something is juicy, and then you have that nasty taste of nail polish in your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna put the link in the description below to one of these nail polishes that I used. I don't know the name of it at the top of my head, but I will put it here, I guess, when I find the picture of it. And you can buy it on Amazon, and let me tell you, mm. Mm -mm -mm. does not taste good but let me tell you even though it didn't taste good I would still bite through it and then eventually I would just take off the nail polish and bite my nails so if you are not as crazy of a nail biter like I was and you will leave it on your nails and just kind of catch yourself from biting it it will work but if you are like me that you're like yeah I put it on I got tired I took it off with nail polish and continued biting my nails then let's go on to the next tip now tip number five I think is the most important 
tip out of all of them, which is be mindful. You need to be mindful of you biting your nails. I know you're gonna be like, yeah, I know I'm mindful. I know I'm biting my nails. No, no, no. You need to be mindful of the fact that your nails are in your mouth and be mindful to try to stop and get them out of your mouth. If you are not mindful and present when you are biting your nails, it's gonna be on automatic and before you know it, we've all had this happen, biting, 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 and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I was just biting one and now I'm left with no nails. So you need to try your best to be mindful when you are biting your nails so that you can take a second, catch yourself, and let go of the nail biting habit and really be present and mindful of what you are doing. Let's get into tip number six. Tip number six is wonderful because it has to do with rewarding yourself. If you are going through this process and it is hard for you, you need to be able to reward yourself for all the hard work that you're putting through this. So if you have made it a week without biting your nails, then go buy yourself something on Amazon. Go treat yourself to an ice cream at Cold Stone. Go eat that double whopper, whatever you've been waiting for all week because you're on a diet. Like whatever it is that you wanna reward yourself with, go do that because try Trust me, the more you reward yourself, one, you should be rewarding yourself often because hello, you need to be loving yourself. But second of all, it's just going to incentivize you to stop biting your nails and to continue on your path of not biting your nails. So reward yourself, reward yourself, reward yourself, treat yourself. Tip number seven is just, it's not that fun and glamorous as number six because you know, it's just not. And that is think of the bacteria that is underneath your nails. It's gross, it's gross. And if you look online, and I'm sure that there's pictures of all the bacteria underneath your nails, and it's kind of disgusting every time that you're like <laughs> sucking in there, and then you see the pictures and you're like, oh my God, is that what's going into my mouth? Horrendous. Trust me, if you just think of the bacteria that is going into your mouth, I guarantee you that the next time you're gonna be like, mm, mm, no, I, mm, no, don't wanna do that. Don't wanna do that. Tip number eight. Tip number eight is actually very important, which is think about your teeth. This has an effect on your teeth. And this was something that I never thought about when I was biting my nails. I was just like, oh my God, my poor nails, my poor nails are like paper thin. But what about my teeth? Hello, you're grinding away at your teeth. I had read something online that it can affect, the bacteria from your nails can affect your gums. It can tear down your teeth through years and years and years of you biting your teeth. So, I mean, there's so many things. You can damage your tooth enamel. It's, it's insane if you look at the things that can happen to your teeth from nail biting. If you love your teeth more than you love your nails, do some research because it is insane the amount of effects or side effects that nail biting can have on your precious pearly whites. So that is tip number eight. Tip number nine is carry around a cuticle cutter with you, a nail file, and a nail clipper with you at all times. If you do not have temptation there, sometimes your nails will break. That is temptation because you have that hang one and you just, you just want to bite it. Don't you have something to clip it. Did you have something to clip it? You need to be prepared for these situations. So I'm telling you, because it's happened to me, come prepared and you are less likely to bite your nails and you are more likely to just cut them up. Oh, you have a hangnail, hold on, let me get my little cuticle cutter and you're done. If you do not have these things with you, you are more likely to just go crazy and then before you know it, you don't have nails, you're waiting two weeks, you're Googling things and you're Googling products to magically make your nails grow in three days and now you have to wait another two weeks for your nails to grow out and start again. So please come prepared and these are some of the products that I have used uh, that have helped me. I should mention that you guys do not need to have any particular nail cutter or cuticle cutter or nail file. Like literally I have like 99 cent nail fire oh, nail files i don't know what i just said um nail files with me i have this one from opi which is really really good um it's the 240 opi one which i will try to link it in the description below but i'm telling you nail files are nail files you just done but come prepared tip number 10 is do your own manicure and i know some of you are going to be like i suck at doing my own nails but the only reason that i added this tip in here is because if you put in the time and energy to do your own nails trust me when i say this that when you go to bite your nails you're going to see how long it actually takes to do your nails and when you go to bite them you're going to be like man it took me a long time to do this for me i did these nails 
I, I don't know, maybe like, it takes me like 30, 40 minutes because I'm right-handed so I can do this hand very quickly. But when it comes to this hand, I'm like, so it takes me a long time. And then eventually when I'm sitting here working, I'm like, no, it took me forever to do this. And my nails normally last about a week and a half, two weeks because I do not touch them. So if you do your own manicure, it might help you with feeling better about yourself. It's some quality time for yourself, but it will also trigger your brain to say, hey, you worked hard on this, it took you a long time, get your fingers out of your mouth, go eat something, chew on a piece of gum, but do not chew on those beautiful fingernails. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've gone over the tips and the steps that you can do to stop finally biting your nails, you're going to want to have a bottom coat that is gonna make your nails stronger so that they stop breaking. You're gonna want a cuticle oil to have your nails conditioned because if your nails are conditioned, your nails are not going to break and a lot of us don't know these things. So these are some of the products that I have used. Trust me, this is coming from like experience of buying way too many products on, on my nails, like just too many products. So my favorite, favorite, favorite bottom coat, I've been using this bottom coat for like seven months now and I don't think I'm ever gonna use another one because it has just given me wonderful results and that is OPI Nail Envy. It is amazing. I can't, I can't explain it in any other words. It has helped me tremendously. I normally do two of these as a bottom coat, like two layers. Amazing, amazing. My nails haven't broken in forever and literally I just, I don't know what to tell you. It's just amazing. I'm gonna put it in the description below so check it out if you like. Okay, so now we're going into cuticle oil. You guys, I know that you're gonna be like, oh my God, do I really need this? Yes, because if your nails are dry, they're going to break. If your cuticles are conditioned, your nails are gonna grow out conditioned and they're gonna be more bendy and they're not going to break. I don't know if it's 100% factual. I read this online somewhere and I was like, that makes sense. So I'm just sharing it with you. But let me tell you that ever since I started conditioning my nails and my cuticles, my nails have stopped breaking. So I think that made, made a lot of sense to me. This one is CND Solar Oil. Like I said, you can find it in the description below. But this cuticle oil, you can see the difference in your nails in like a week and a half. If you just put it on every night before you go to sleep. You can also do this like when you're at work or whatever, at school. You just put some on, literally. You just go like this, put it on your nails, call it a day, rub it in there. And that's literally all I do. I just go like this. You can see the oil and just rub it in. That's all, that's all you gotta do. Rub it into your nails, it is amazing. It smells freaking fantastic and you will see a difference in your nails. Let me tell you that this stuff, my fingers smell delicious and I know that sounds weird because then you're gonna wanna eat them but no, trust me. Once you start conditioning your nails and you see that they're beautiful, you're not gonna want to eat them. I think we are done, beautiful people. I have given you all my advice. I've given you the 10 tips that helped me and I really hope that it can help you. I've also given you the products that I use that have helped my nails stop breaking and they have finally freaking grown out because that was also a huge pain in the behind. So if you guys want to get your nails harder and growing out, uh, nail Envy will be in the description below as well as CND solar oil. Trust me, if you want prettier nails, if you do this for two to three weeks, two to three weeks, you are going to see a difference and please let me know in the comments below because I know this can help you. You just have to be mindful of your bad habit and change it and replace it and make a bet with somebody. Do what you can, but you got this. I have faith in you because trust me, it took me a long time but I finally did it and you can too. So if you found any of this information useful, I would greatly appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video if you guys want me to give any recommendations on my favorite nail polish brands or whatever the case is, beauty products. Just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love you guys and stay safe out there and stop biting.